Hey everyone, it's Nick from Share Dividend here, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the 2018 Dividend Kings, which are a group of stocks with 50 plus years of consecutive dividend increases. The way this is going to work is I'm going to briefly introduce to you each Dividend King, provide a quick overview of their business model, and then move on to the next one. So if you'd like to follow along and see the financial metrics that underpin the financials of each of these Dividend Kings, scroll down to the description because we have an Excel document waiting for you to download there. The first Dividend King we'll discuss is ABM Industries which is one of the world's largest facilities management companies. ABM performs a wide variety of services for its customers, including janitorial, parking and transportation, electrical and mechanical, and energy solutions. ABM Industries has increased its dividend for 50 consecutive years, which makes it one of the newest dividend kings. The company trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of about $2 billion. The next dividend king we'll discuss is American States Water, which is a water utility company that was founded in 1929. American States Water's two major subsidiaries include the Golden State Water Company and American States Utility Services. American States Water provides their services in multiple states across the continental United States. American State Water's has provided 62 years of consecutive dividend increases, which makes it one of the longest lived dividend kings. The company trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of about $2 billion. The next dividend king we'll discuss is California Water Services Group which is the third largest water utility company in the United States. The company services 500,000 plus customers and generates more than $400 million in annual revenue. California Services Water Group operates through six subsidiaries in California, Washington, New Mexico, and Hawaii. CWT has 50 years of consecutive dividend increases and trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of $1.7 billion. Next up is Cincinnati Financial a property and casualty insurance company that underwrites insurance for, via three operating subsidiaries, the Cincinnati Insurance Company, the Cincinnati Indemnity Company, and the Cincinnati Casualty Company. Cincinnati Financial has very strong relationships with more than 1,600 insurance agencies operating at 2,100 plus locations. Cincinnati Financial has increased their dividend for 57 consecutive years and trades on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of about $12 billion. Next up is the Colgate-Palmolive Company, which is one of the most well-known consumer staples companies. Colgate Palmolive operates in four segments, oral care, personal care, home care, and pet nutrition. Colgate Palmolive products and brands are sold worldwide. The company has increased its dividend for 55 consecutive years and trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of $60 billion. Next up is Dover Corporation, a diversified industrial manufacturer with annual revenues exceeding $7 billion. Founded in 1955, Dover operates in four segments, engineered systems, fluids, refrigeration, and food equipment and energy. Dover has a market capitalization of about $15 billion and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has hiked its dividend for 61 consecutive years. The next dividend king we'll discuss is Emerson Electric, a multinational industrial service firm that was founded in 1890. Emerson has more than 110,000 employees and 205 manufacturing locations across the globe. Emerson Electric's two core operating segments are automatic solutions, and commercial and residential solutions. Emerson Electric has a market capitalization of about $43 billion and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has increased its dividend for 60 years in a row. The next dividend king we'll discuss is Farmers and Merchants Bank Corp, which is probably the smallest dividend king and is most likely to be not well known among the listeners to this video. Farmers and Merchants Bank Corp is a community bank located exclusively in California. The company has 25 locations and was founded in 1916. Farmers and Merchants Bank Corp has a market capitalization of just $500 million. The company has increased their dividend every year for the last 52 years in a row and is traded over the counter. Next up is Genuine Parts Company, which is an industrial distribution company that specializes in the distribution of automotive replacement parts. Founded in 1928, Genuine Parts Company operates in four segments, automotive parts, industrial parts, office products, and electrical or electronic materials. Genuine Parts Company trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of about $13 billion. The company has increased its dividend for 61 consecutive years. Next up is Federal Realty Investment Trust, a real estate investment trust or a REIT that has more than 23 million square feet of shopping mall assets. This company was founded in 1962 and operates in strategic metropolitan markets. The company has increased its dividend for 50 consecutive years and trades on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of about $8 billion. Next up is Hormel Foods Corporation, a diversified foods company that was founded in 1891 by George A. Hormel. Hormel's five core segments include refrigerated foods, Genio Turkey Store, grocery products, specialty foods, and international and other. 
The company generates about $10 billion in annual sales. Hormel has increased their dividend for 51 consecutive years and has a market capitalization of $17 billion. The company is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Next up is Johnson & Johnson, the world's largest healthcare conglomerate. J&J operates in three segments, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and consumer health products. Johnson & Johnson has a market capitalization of $355 billion and is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has hiked its dividend for 55 years without interruption. The next dividend king we'll discuss is Coca-Cola, the world's largest beverage company. Coca-Cola is a global company that has, owns brands like Coca-Cola, Powerade, Minute, <clears throat> Minute Maid, and Vitamin Water. The company has been in business since 1886 and has 21 brands with more than $1 billion in annual sales. Coca-Cola has increased its dividend for 55 years in a row and has a market capitalization of $181 billion. The company is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Next up is Lancaster Colony, a company that sells regional specialty foods under the Marzetti, Flat Oat Bread, New York, and Sister Schubert's brands. The company was founded in 1961. Lancaster Colony has increased their dividend year over year for the last 55 years and was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has a market capitalization of about three and a quarter billion dollars. Next up is Lowe's, the second largest home improvement retailer in the United States behind the Home Detail, or the Home Depot, sorry. The company serves more than 17 million customers per week in the United States alone. Lowe's trades with a market cap of $68 billion on the New York Stock Exchange and has hiked its dividend every year for 54 years in a row. Next up is 3M Company, which was originally known as the Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company. This is an industrial manufacturing company that makes a wide variety of products, including electrical components, medical products, car care products, dental and orthodontic products, adhesives, abrasive laminates, and many others. The company generated more than $31 billion of revenue in 2017. With a market capitalization of about $128 billion, 3M has increased their dividend over the last 59 consecutive years and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The next dividend king we'll discuss today is Nordson, an industrial manufacturing company that produces a wide variety of products, including adhesives, coatings, sealants, and biomaterials. Founded in 1954, Nordson has 7,200 employees, a direct presence in 25 countries, and generated fiscal 2017 sales of $2.1 billion. Traded on the NASDAQ exchange, Nordson has a market cap of about $8 billion and has increased its dividend for 54 consecutive years. The next dividend king we'll discuss is Northwest Natural Gas, a utility company focused on natural gas distribution in the Northwest United States. The company is headquartered in Portland, Oregon. Northwest Natural Gas has a smaller market cap of about $2 billion and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has hiked its dividend for 61 consecutive years. Next up is Parker Hannifin, a leading manufacturer of motion control technologies. Headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio, Parker Hannifin operates in four segments, motion system, flow and process controls, filtration and engineered materials, and aerospace systems. Parker Hannifin has a market cap of about $23 billion and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has increased its dividend for 61 consecutive years. Next up is Procter & Gamble, one of the largest consumer goods companies in the world. The company owns popular brands like Pantene, Old Spice, Olay, and Gillette. The company was founded in 1837 and generated $65 billion of sales in 2017. With a market capitalization of nearly $200 billion, Procter & Gamble has increased their dividend for 61 consecutive years and is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Next up is the SJW Group, a water utility that has four operating subsidiaries which includes the San Jose Water Company, SJWTX Inc., SJW Land Company, and the Texas Water Alliance Limited. Two of their four subsidiaries provide water to more than one million people. SJW has a smaller market cap of about a billion dollars and trades on the New York Stock Exchange. SJW Group has increased their dividend for 50 consecutive years. Next up is Stanley Black & Decker, a well-known company that operates in three segments, tools and storage, industrial, and security. Stanley Black & Decker offers their products and services globally. Several of their well-known tool brands include Stanley, Black & Decker, DeWalt, and Craftsman. Stanley Black & Decker has increased their dividend for 50 consecutive years. The company has paid dividends for 141 years and is listed on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of $23 billion. Next up is Stepan, which is a manufacturer and distributor of specialty and industrial chemicals that generated $2 billion of revenue in 2017. Stepan has traded on the New York Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of about $2 billion, and the company has increased their dividend for 50 consecutive years. The next dividend king we'll discuss is Tootsie Roll Industries. 
which owns, manufactures, and distributes many iconic candy brands, including Tootsie Roll, Double Bubble, and Sugar Daddy. Tootsie was founded in 1896, and the company generated $500 million of sales in 2017. Tootsie Roll has paid increasing dividends for 51 consecutive years and has a market capitalization of $2 billion. Tootsie Roll trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Next up is Vectrin, an energy holding company that was founded in 1999. Headquartered in Evansville, Indiana, Vectrin currently delivers energy to more than 1 million customers in Indiana and Ohio. Vectrin has increased their dividend payout for the last 57 consecutive years and is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. The company has a market cap of about $5 billion. That concludes our discussion of the Dividend Kings today. I wanted to thank you for watching this video through to the end and give you three pieces of instructions for what to do next. The first is to email me a video recommendation at nick at suredividend.com. The second is to like this video and to leave us a comment telling us what you thought of it. And the third is to subscribe to our channel, Sure Dividend, if you're interested in learning more about investing in high quality dividend growth stocks for the long run. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.